The Forever Maryland statue will soon be moved from its perch in front of the Palm Springs Art Museum to just a few steps away in a park. The City Council made the decision in a closed session last night to help settle a long-running lawsuit by the Committee to Relocate Maryland, a group that opposed the statue's current location on Museum Way. We spoke with statue visitors today who have strong opinions on the move, which will happen in the next 30 days. This location is prestige. Uh, hopefully the location they move it to down the road, it's similar to this one. So if they are to move her away, uh, that you know, chance of spotting her will certainly be diminished. Since its installation, the 26-foot tall statue has been a lightning rod of controversy, costing the city hundreds of thousands of dollars in legal fees. So what's next for the statue in Museum Way? I spoke today with Palm Springs Mayor Jeffrey Bernstein. All right, Jeffrey, is the saga surrounding Maryland finally over? Uh, well, it's getting close. Um, we had a, a notice from PS Resorts that they did not want to keep proceeding with the legal battle uh, and were committed to moving it uh, to the downtown park. And we had agreement from the Prima people that that would be acceptable to them. There are still details to be worked out over the next 30 days. And for folks who aren't familiar, you're just moving the statue to the nearby downtown park just steps away, right? That's correct. Uh, I mean, the statue was originally a bit envisioned to be in the park in some of the early drawings. Uh, it was then placed on the street. I think there is, uh, whether it goes back into the original location or another location in the park, that is the current plan so that it'll still be downtown. And Museum Way will also remain closed to traffic, correct? Yes, yeah, so council moved forward that last night, so we vacated the street. So from Bellardo to Museum Drive, uh, it will be a pedestrian street, uh, which will allow for events and other art. Um, it'll allow for the park spillover as well, uh, and it will also have the court, view corridor to the museum. When do you anticipate this move will take place, and do you know exactly where in the park it will be located? Uh, we do not have exact location yet. That that still has to be determined. There are structural issues which need to go through. The relocation is a difficult process because the only people who can move it are representatives of the foundation, the Seward Johnson Foundation. Uh, and there's a dedicated team that I think comes from the East Coast. So we have to coordinate with them when they can get out here and make sure they have all the facilities to do it. Um, Wherever it's relocated to has to have a new base to put it on. So it's not the kind of thing that happens immediately, uh, but it will start in the works as soon as we have the location. I'm curious, once the statue is moved to its new place, do you think the controversy will be over? Uh, you know, I think, I hope so. Uh, certainly the people who wanted the museum view uh, will be happy. Although I think so many people loved Marilyn who are quite upset right now. Uh, that they're going to want to see a nice location. And if we can find an ideal location that still draws tourists, that still gets um, good pictures in there, that still draws people to our downtown, that could be a good win. I think in the end, nobody wants to keep paying lawyers. And I think that's really what was happening. I was just about to say, this will end up saving taxpayer dollars in the long run, I'm sure. That's correct. I mean, this has already cost hundreds of thousands of dollars for the city, for PS Resorts, and I think everybody really wants to move forward. In fact, PS Resorts' lawyer was at council last night and specifically said that they have limited funds and their goal is to really target bringing in events and promoting tourism in Palm Springs. Uh, and they feel like they want to move towards other types of things that can do that while still having the Maryland statue in our downtown. All right, anything else, Jeffrey, you would like to say about all this before we let you go? Uh, you know, I think, you know, one of the definitions of compromise is that nobody's 100% happy. Um, I think um, that this really will hopefully help us to move forward. And I know it's been very divisive. Um, I personally love the statue, so I'm glad it's gonna stay downtown. Uh, but I do hate to see so much money just wasted on lawyers. Okay, Jeffrey, as always, we appreciate your time. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, Peter. 
I also reached out today to the head of the Committee to Relocate Maryland, Trina Turk, who says there are many details that need to be resolved before they consider this a done deal. So they will wait to comment till after they have a signed agreement. All right, now time for our poll question of the day. Do you agree with Palm Springs' decision to relocate the Forever Maryland sculpture? Head to KESQ.com to give your response.